Welcome back to Therapy Thursday. I know we've been away for a year, but all of us have had kids, so that's our excuse. As our initial blog for 2015, we thought we'd tackle a very common problem, that being plantar fasciitis. It's extremely common, about 1 in 10 people will experience it at some point in their life, and the most common symptoms are pain in the morning, and extreme pain with walking, almost feeling like you're walking on glass. At the extreme end, it'll keep professional athletes away from their sport. Now, plantar fascia is something that dogmatic practice has dictated treatment. So people have just done the same thing forever, despite the fact that it's never actually been subjected to research. You may have heard your therapist in the past say that you have plantar fascia pain because your foot is too flat, or you have some sort of biomechanical problem with your lower extremity that's putting too much pressure on the inside part of your foot, causing micro tears in your plantar fascia and inflammation. The issue is none of that actually stands up to research. Only recently, a researcher looked at plantar fascia and noticed it shares a lot of similarities with long-standing tendon problems, specifically in the structures as well as the way that they respond to load. We know for long-standing tendon issues that high-level strength training or high-level loads have tendons respond favorably to it. So he actually applied that to plantar fascia pain, and I think you'll be surprised by the results. This is based on a 2014 study by Michael Raffleff that took 48 patients and put half in an eccentric exercise group and half in a stretching only group. It is important to note that all study participants got both a gel heel insert as well as having to follow these seven rules that we think are great for anybody with plantar fascia issues. The stretching exercise was based on a 2003 study. Participants were instructed to hold this stretch for 10 seconds, 10 times, 3 different times daily. They had to feel tension across their arch. The high load strength training exercise utilizes a towel placed under the toes to individualize to the person to make sure the toes are maximally flexed at the top as seen here. Tempo is extremely important. You are meant to use a 2 second count on the way down, 3 seconds on the way up with a 2 second pause at the top. A variation would see you use 2 feet on the way up and 1 foot on the way down. Like any exercise, progression is extremely important and you needed to add weight as your body adapts to the increased load. So how did the patients actually fare? They utilized an outcome measure that looked at people at 1, 6, and 12 months. By 3 months, the people in the plantar fascia strengthening exercise were substantially better than those in the stretching one. It is important to note that there wasn't a significant change at 9 and 12 months, but the author actually did a blog where he said, if you tell somebody with plantar fascia pain that if you do this exercise, you will feel better in 3 months, that's a very powerful tool. The second question is, why does this work? There's two theories behind it. One is a histological one where increased tissue absorbs more load, so your tendon or the plantar fascia actually gets stronger. The second is just doing the exercise improves your ankle range of motion and the foot strength of your muscle. In my opinion, it's probably a combination of the two and you can't tease one out than the other. I'm going to leave you with the author's two key points. The first one is you actually have to do the exercise. If you don't follow the progression that he put out, chances are this won't work. And the second one is the tempo has to remain slow. He found people that used too quick of a tempo actually flared up their symptoms. So do the exercise and do it slowly and you'll likely feel better within 12 weeks.